The National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies was established in 1897 and led by Millicent Fawcett for over 20 years. It advocated both peaceful and constitutional forms of campaigning, such as petitions, marches and the lobbying of MPs. Initially, the NUWSS was not tied to any particular political party. Instead, the organisation preferred to endorse individual candidates sympathetic to women's suffrage. In 1912, this changed. Fawcett accused successive Liberal governments of stalling on votes for women. The Conciliation Bill of 1911, designed to extend the vote to over one million property-owning women, passed with a large majority but was denied the parliamentary time it needed to become law. As a result, the NUWSS aligned itself with the Independent Labour Party and in 1912 established the Election Fighting Fund to support its general election campaign. In allying themselves with the Labour Party, the NUWSS put pressure on the Liberals, risking drawing away enough Liberal support to let the Conservatives take office. At its peak, the organisation had over 50,000 members and 600 branches across the country, and unlike the WSPU, men were welcome to join. The First World War divided opinion within the NUWSS. The organisation helped establish an employment register to help women fill the jobs vacated by men and organise relief work and filled hospitals. However, when the Executive Committee voted not to support the Women's Peace Conference at The Hague, mass resignations of its officers followed. The NUWSS supported the recommendations made at the Speakers' Conference of 1917, despite it not proposing equal suffrage. As Fawcett said at the time, we should greatly prefer an imperfect scheme that can pass to the most perfect scheme in the world that cannot pass. After the vote was won, the NUWSS transformed into the National Union of Societies for Equal Citizenship and continue to campaign for the vote on equal terms with men. The NUWSS and its methods are best summarised by Millicent Fawcett herself, who said the movement was, like a glacier, slow moving but unstoppable.